So today we're going to learn about SumDog, which is one of my favorite apps. Uh, we don't have a lot of time for it at school so, cause, because we're so busy with things. But as an extra thing for at home for remote learning, this is a great, great uh, app for you to be able to play with if you want something to do or want some extra math practice. So uh, here's the steps for setting it up on your iPad for school. Uh, so the very first thing is going to be going to self-service on your iPad. Uh, once you get logged into there, uh, you may need to, instead of the app store at the bottom there, you may need to click on updates if you already have some dog and go down to the S's and click update. Okay, and you can see it says pending for me. So uh, this just makes sure that you have the most up-to-date version of the app. So once you have that, then you can click the SumDog icon, which is a little dog that says SumDog underneath, and it'll take you to this login screen. Now, your usernames and passwords are the same thing as for Zern, the same thing as for your bank, things like that. It is your first initial, last initial, four-digit AR number, the password is your four digit AR number. So here's my pretend person. We have uh, little Scotty Hutch. So SH, my AR number is 1600. So my password then is just 1600. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit login. Notice it asks for a school code. Your school code is simply McCain, M-C-K-E-A-N. So I'm going to go ahead and hit return, and here we go. I am in the SumDog app. Now, this is the math training. It's going to start you off and just ask what you know and things like that, uh, and then you'll get a pet uh, or a pet trick. So you can keep buying things and adding on. Uh, this 20 minutes will equal 100 coins uh, for you to purchase things. Now, I do want you to see uh, if I click the Home tab there, um, you can see I am a common rat. I need 500 coins to upgrade to my next animal. I haven't earned any coins or things like that. Um, here is my pet uh, area here, and this is where I can add things to my dashboard. Now, I do want you to see this part. So when you're in here, over in that friends spot, it says you do not have any friends yet. <laughs> you can click add friends. This is where you're going to put in your friends' usernames. So you can put in, for example, uh, let's pretend we have a student named like, uh, I don't know, Sonny, uh, Sonny Schaefer or something like that. So I would put SS and whatever my friend's four digit AR number is. So I'll post uh, the usernames on our Class Dojo play page. Um, you can sort of figure out usernames and passwords, so please be respectful and stay on your own. Uh, so I would put in my friend's four-digit PIN and then hit Ask, and it'll send an invite to them. They can see that they have a friend request. Now, all this does is it'll show you who's on out of your friends. And here's the cool thing. You can actually play the games against them. And there's no voice chat or chat box, anything like that. You'll just know I'm playing against them. And a lot of the games are really uh, fun because you're answering questions and you might be, as you answer questions, putting uh, different clothes outfits on your friend and making them all mad like, oh, I don't want to wear a dress and things like that. So it's super funny. Anyway, you'll see your friend request located right over there and then you can add them as a friend. So you'll see who's online and active. All right, so let's go back to your main dashboard here and let me explain this. So this is your math training. Basically, it's a diagnostic, and I'm just going to be straight with you. It's about 200 questions, but you do the questions while you're playing the games. So it is going to start you off with some lower grades, like some first grade, second grade. So you'll see, like, how many is this? And then there are going to be some more difficult things, like fifth grade things and stuff like that. So it just wants to know uh, sort of where you're at, what to focus on while you're playing, and things of that nature. So uh, you do not have to finish it all at once. So just try different games out, have fun practicing it, but do your best because it's going to start learning about you and cater to you. So 
Uh, take your time with it. If you need to write something down on paper, do it. Use some good mental math. You can stop and take a break uh, and sign out and then the next day go back in. They'll just pick up where you left off with your diagnostic. At the end, they'll give you a pet uh, and you are then ready to just work on different skills and play against your friends and things like that. So that's the basics of it. Uh, just hit start and uh, go ahead and go at it. My favorite game is Junk Pile, so make sure you check that out. See how tall of a tower you can build. All right, good luck. Hopefully I'll get on there sometime to play against you. All right, see you later. Peace.